guys, it is Chef Morad here, and today I could not be happier than to try two new products today. This product today is made by Keystone, which if you know me, I love Coors Light. It's probably my favorite beer. Uh, it's brewed in Colorado, boys. So this is a Keystone Light, but it has raspberry, lime, and beer together. So I am freaking pumped. I love you, Coors. Uh, I'm even going to be driving one of these in iRacing, which will be continued. Uh, this is week 13. But thank you all for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Help me out. We're almost at 1,000. And it's been a long time since we did a review. And I say that every video. Just skip that. All right, boys. So we are cracking the boy open. I, oh, man. And if you're wondering, the other... Woo! I can smell from here. The other drink is Yingling Flight. So if... You're into that as well. I'm doing a review right after here. Uh, I can already smell some raspberry. Whoa, dude. It smells like a raspberry sherbet ice cream bar. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, it smells good. It smells banging. You don't smell beer at all, so that's... Ugh. All right, I mean... You can judge me all you want. I like fruity drinks. I like uh, even Red Zapple, Angry Orchards, Twisted Teas, you name it. So, uh, what also is cool, there's a dog on it. So, it looks just like a Boston French Bulldog, whatever, man. It looks awesome, dude. So, here we go. We're going to give it a try. I'm excited. Not bad, not bad. Um... Okay, okay. You definitely had the fruit. Uh, Beer-wise, it's not really strong on the beers. It's really not strong on the beer-wise. All right, so, that being said, it tastes like a wine cooler light. That's exactly what it tastes like. It ta You taste the raspberry. Yeah, it tastes like a raspberry carbonated wine cooler. Um, not, I don't really taste much beer at all. But I mean, it's it's not like a drink. I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna put it down. I'm done drinking it. This is actually pretty dang good, man. Yeah, this is really good. So. Uh, Keystone, you did an amazing job adding some fruit. Um, really, Mountain Dew is the same way. Like, they haven't been coming out with nothing new. So, uh, like, any new flavors. I know they have a lot of Kickstart and Game Fuel flavors there, but not like a Mountain Dew. It's been a long time since the Christmas matchup. It's already March. Um, so, for Keystone to get some raspberry lime. I know they had a Keystone lime before. Um, but this is actually good. Um, out of a 10 rated. I will definitely say it's not going to be a high 10. Um, it's going to be a 9. One, because I don't really taste beer, and I love beer, um, but you do have the raspberry. I don't really taste the lime. I don't taste the lime that much, but that's not a bad thing. I'm not a huge fan of lime. I like Bud Light lime. But I don't like a dominant lime. Like, Cronin Lime's okay. You can drink, like, one, two. I mean, uh, come on, man. I'm a NASCAR fan. I ain't going to go to NASCAR track drink Corona Limes, dude. But Keystone, you did an amazing job on this. I'm going to give you a nine. Uh, really close to 9.5. I'm not going to lie. But I can't give you a 9.5 because I like Keystone Light better. <laughs> so, I can't rate you better than the actual Keystone Light. But... This is amazing. You guys got to go out and try it. Definitely a 9. Almost a, almost a 10 in my books, dude. Keystone Light. Good job on this. Really good. Go out and try it. Let me know what you all think, man. Uh, make sure you're 21. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. And you guys have a good one. Thank you.